North Korean dictator threatens nuclear justice as he shows off new missiles and submarine arsenal at Day of the Sun Parade led by tens of thousands of goose-stepping, fanatically chanting troops. North Korea leader Kim Jong-un gleefully applauded as he watched a display of the country's military might as the secretive state marked its Day of the Sun celebrations with a huge military parade amid increasingly aggressive threats of nuclear war. Kim wearing a Western-style suit at Kim Il-sung Square, saluted formations of soldiers who yelled out long live to celebrate the 105th anniversary of his grandfather's birth. The dictator has accused President Donald Trump of provoking his nation towards armed conflict with a series of increasingly aggressive moves, including sending the USS Carl Vinson to the Korean Peninsula. U.S. officials feared Kim Jong-un would mark the national holiday by launching North Korea's sixth nuclear weapons test, since the country has used previous holidays to showcase its military prowess. The despot, who did not speak during the annual parade, flaunted prototypes of intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBM, which experts fear could one day be capable of striking mainland America. One of Kim's top officials, Cho Ryong-hee, today vowed North Korea would be down enemies with the power of nuclear justice. He said, we will respond to an all-out war with an all-out war and a nuclear war with our style of a nuclear attack. Submarine-launched ballistic missiles SLBM, were also among the sophisticated military hardware on show for the first time, indicating an improving technological capability that could help it evade anti-missile systems. A total of 56 missiles of 10 different types were displayed, culminating in enormous rockets on articulated trailers and on 16-wheeler vehicles. North Korea has promised nuclear justice in response to any atomic attack during Kim's ominous show of strength. Some detachments carried assault rifles or rocket-propelled grenades, others were equipped with night vision goggles and daubed in face paint. One troop was made up of sword-wielding women. The nuclear-armed North is under United Nations sanctions over its weapons programs, and has ambitions to build a rocket capable of delivering a warhead to the U.S. mainland, something Trump has vowed won't happen. He saluted his honor guard before walking down a red carpet to a podium and clapped with senior government officials to address the massive crowd taking part in the parade. Goose-stepping soldiers and marching bands filled the square as tanks multiple launch rocket systems and other weapons waited to parade. Kim, a 30-something leader who took power in late 2011, emphasizes nuclear weapons as the foundation of his national defense strategy. The country under his watch has been aggressively pursuing a goal of putting a nuclear warhead on an ICBM capable of reaching the continental United States. Donald Trump has said that all options are on the table when it comes to North Korea. But what exactly does that mean? The president has a vast range of possible ways of dealing with a secretive communist nation ranging from cyber warfare to a missile strike, and even a nuclear attack of his own. Dailymail.com spoke to three military experts to describe what each of those options means, and the pitfalls of each. They described the president as having no good options with North Korea and said that it will require impressive statecraft to deal with Pyongyang. Pyongyang.